is the Eastern Orthodox Church the one true church? Um, how do you know which one is true? Greek, Ethiopian, Russian, Serbians. Uh, isn't it true? Isn't the true church just an invisible body of believers? In other words, the elect who are saints on this earth? No. Uh, the first century didn't view it as that. You had 12 apostles, 12 visible apostles who are leaders. Um, when Paul or Peter or James um, said something or uh, gave a command or instruction, you followed it. The Council of Jerusalem, did people say, well, that's, that's a hierarchy, that's a... Um, a uh, you know that's just this corporate thing and I don't have to listen to it no uh, this idea I mean not even John Calvin or Martin Luther had this idea this idea is only two to three hundred years old if that um, the idea that it's an invisible body of believers no um, there is one true Holy Catholic and Apostolic Church, and that is the what's known as the Eastern Orthodox Church. The Greeks, the Russians, the Serbians, the Antiochians, we all can take communion in each other's churches. The reason why they're called that is language. Um, we never, we always made sure that the people heard the words of Christ, heard the words of the apostles, and knew the words of the liturgy. That's why um, the Cyrillic alphabet. Um, was invented by Cyril and Methodius and their um, students. Um, the reason why there's, you know, uh, Ukrainian, Russian, Serbian, this is because of, um, to tend to their flock in their own language, just like with Greek. Um, when the United States was still under um, the care of the Russian Orthodox Church, um, uh, St. Tikhon sent over Raphael, who is an Arab, and um, Greek um, <coughs> priests and bishops to tend to the Arab and the Greek flocks here. Um, now, uh, before his martyrdom, he said, never, he said, do not listen to the one who comes after me because he will be a puppet of the communists. Um, and he was martyred by the communists, and uh, that's why we have so many churches here. It should, uh, I believe the intention was cause the OCA, which the OCA um, happened, but he said form your own churches, which led to, you know, the Greek, in, in the United States, uh, Greek Orthodox, Serbian Orthodox, Ukrainian Orthodox, uh, Antiochian Orthodox, um, when... Before 1919, you just go to an Orthodox church. I mean, uh, in Serbia, there are no, you know, Antiochian or Greek Orthodox churches. In Greece, there are no Russian or, you know, Serbian Orthodox churches. Just one Holy Catholic and Apostolic Church, which is the Eastern Orthodox Church. In Catholic, there might be a tri tricky word. Um, I have a video that explains the meaning of the word Catholic. It does not mean papal. Um, as for the Ethiopians um, and uh, the Oriental Orthodox, like the Copts, the schism is effectively ended um, through action, through the will of the people. So there are brethren, they're Eastern Orthodox. I might get some heat from some people there, but uh, my confessor is, you know, Father Dan, who is a Coptic priest. And he um, he was at he was an uh, active priest in, uh, not the head parish priest, but active in the um, OCA. Um, Antioch, which is displaced in Damascus, uh, Ignatius of Kawas and Ignatius IV signed an agreement um, that the first one to die, uh, the other would absorb the um, the uh, the other's congregation, no, effectively this didn't happen because John was elected. Um, I consider myself Syriac because I 
have a deep love for Ignatius the Fourth and and think he is a he was a great man. Um, he is reposed now, um, so I have no problem going to Syriac Church, uh, Syriac Orientalist Church. Um, my Alpha site, what gets called. Um, but then again, I have no problem going to my home, Antiochian, Syria, Chalcedonian Orthodox Church. So no, these are not different churches. It's the Eastern Orthodox Communion. The church, remember, the church is just one. Um, there is no schism within the body of Christ. Um, different factions or denominations, those are called schismatics and heretics, like Marcion or Arius or Valentinus. Um, so no, I mean, not even John Calvin or Martin Luther envisioned anything like, um, you know, uh, you know, just do your own thing. I mean, why is there baptism? Why is there the Eucharist? Why are there church leaders, elders, deacons, bishops, over, you know, or if you want to use the word overseer? And why did he give the command, what you bind in heaven will be bound on earth? or what you bind on earth will be bound in heaven. Um, what is loosed on earth will be loosed in heaven. All right. Um, peace to you. May God save Serbia, Syria, and Ireland.